How to convert a long strain of text into separate, actionable columns without losing your mind over complex formulas. Today, we are tackling a super handy skill in Google Sheets – splitting cells. Whether you are dealing with a messy database or just trying to organize your data better, mastering this can save you a ton of time. Hey there, I'm Yevgen. You are at our OXBI YouTube channel where we speak all things about analytics, marketing, spreadsheets, and data manipulation. We are all about making your data work for you. Today, I'll walk you through multiple splitting examples from names and addresses to segregating data and product lists, so by the end of this very short practical video, you will know exactly how to apply these techniques to your data scenarios. So, buckle up, grab your data, and let's split it right down the middle. So here is our data set. It's a contact database with everything jumbled up. Names, addresses, purchase date times, products purchased, email addresses, you name it. Our goal today is to make this data more manageable by splitting it into more useful components. So let's get to it. First up, let's tackle this addresses. You see how the street, city, state, and zip are all squished together. Let's split those up. Let's add a few columns here. Then, just select all of the values within the address column, go to Data at the top, then choose Split Text to Columns. When prompted, we'll use the comma as our separator because that's what divides each part of our address. And voila, much neater, right? Let's just add the column names here and rename the address field. Amazing! Next, let's separate these emails. Some of our contacts have multiple emails listed together. Again, so let's add another column here. Again, we'll use split text to columns built-in feature, but this time let's use the semicolon to divide them because that's our delimiter here. Super simple and super quick. Let's name our columns now as secondary email and primary email address. Now, on to the contact names. We've got full names here, and we need to split them into first names, middle initials, last names, or suffixes, whatever. Here's where we use the split functions instead of a built-in feature. So, let's add two columns here. Let's make them smaller. Just type split A2, comma, and then put the space into the double quotes. OK, we've got an error here. Array result was not expanded because it would override data in D2. Easy, we need to add one more column here. This formula split the name at each space. Let's drag it down. And all our names are neatly organized into separate columns. We just have a few mistakes here because Jane doesn't have the middle name, so we just need to move the Smith into here and just delete it here. Just leave it like Jane. So we just need to do some manual cleaning because not all of the folks on our list had the mid initials. Let's name our columns correctly and move on. Let's now look at our product purchased. Every product bought is listed in one cell. We'll split this using the split function again, with a comma as the delimiter. It's the same drill. Type, split, and drag. Now each product gets its own column. Handy for analyzing what's hot and what's not, right? And here is a tricky one. Splitting dates and times. They are in one cell but should really be into two for better analysis, like date and time separately. Just like before, use the split function, set your delimiter as a space, and there you have it, dates and times in their own space. Let's name those columns. Sometimes you might need to play around with the formatting because it might be the timestamp as well as the one at the left, but in our case, 
we are doing good. Last but not least, let's say we have a long list and we are tired of dragging the formula down every time. That's where array formula comes in handy. So instead of dragging, dragging the formula down every time, we can just wrap the split into the array formula. And then, instead of saying i2 here, we'll just specify the whole column. It will give us a mistake because we have some values already filled here, so we'll just delete them. Great. Now you can see like entering just one formula in one field will fill the whole column with data. Look how a lot of mistakes are here because there is no data in the, in the i27 throughout the whole list. So we'll just need to wrap our array formula with the if error formula. It's great, except one thing. Now the purchase date and the purchase time are shown in the number format. So what we need to do is we need to change the formula. Number and its date, right? And this is the time. So again, format, number and time. This way you don't have to drag down the formula for hundreds of rows. And there you have it. Today we've tackled how to split cells in Google Sheets transforming a single column of jumbled data into neatly organized, actionable information. From addresses to dates and names, we've got covered a range of techniques to help you clean and split your data effectively. We started up with a simple yet powerful split text to column feature, moved on to the split functions, and finished with taking it all into an array formula to handle a large number of cells effortlessly. Each method we've explored today can help you split your data faster. Now, I encourage you to try these methods on your own tables. The more you practice, the more adept you will become in manipulating data in Google Sheets. If you run into any snags or have questions, drop a comment down below. I'll love to help you solve those puzzles. If this video was helpful, please give me a thumbs up and consider subscribing for more practical Google Sheet tips and tricks. Don't forget to hit that notification bell so you never miss out on a new content that could make your data work smoother and faster. Thanks so much for watching this video. I'm Yevgen from OVAX and remember, every table you work at Google Sheets is a step towards better decisions. So keep pushing the boundaries of what you can do with your data, stay data curious, keep spreadsheeting and as always, happy analyzing.